hate you. For being your uncle? Kissing my sister. Look, all I can say about that is, I am sorry I hurt you. I keep replaying it over and over in my head, and I keep thinking, is he really that big of a sleaze ball, or was this your demented way of trying to make me so disgusted that I'm turned off by you? Did it work? For whatever reason, I can't get you out of my system. I can't stop thinking about you, and I don't know how to deal with it. Well, we're going to have to deal with it somehow. Great, thanks for the reminder. We're family. We're stuck with it. But you working here, working together, that would just make things worse. Or not. We've been keeping it at arm's length, and it's not any better. So why don't we try the other way? We see more of each other. Do you mean see as much of each other as possible until we're sick of each other? No. Uh, why don't we try a new way of connecting? Not just as family, but as friends. No, no, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not staying here for, for months. I'm not even staying here for days because uh, there's nothing wrong with me. We don't consider what you're going through as wrong, but we do consider it something that we need to treat as per Jessica's order. My orders, okay? And I want them rescinded. And I can't just do that. <laughs> well, then, then well, you're going to have to find somebody, somebody who can, a, a supervisor or somebody that can straighten this mess out. I understand you're going through a lot of anxiety all around this thing, but... I think you're going to be feeling much, much better once your treatment begins. Listen, I don't want treatment, okay? I'm fine. Oh. There's nothing wrong okay. with me. Okay, please do not upset yourself. Listen, I am going to step out and uh, I'm going to be back with something to calm you down. You can't get it one way, there's always another. I know I have that picture of him somewhere. Oh, hang on a minute. Hello? Mom, thank God you're answering. Jesse, hi. Yes, it, it's me, but I, but I have to talk fast, okay, because I don't have much time. Why, honey, what's wrong? You have to come and get me, okay? I am at St. Anne's, and they uh, think that I turned into... I... Huh, huh. Jesse? Jesse, are you still there? Is everything all right? I don't know. You know what? I think I, I have to go. Yeah, sure, yeah, we can talk about this some other time. We will. Thank okay. you. I wonder what that was all about. Oh, I hope Jessica's okay. I guess her search for Charlie B will have to wait. You know, for a minute there, I thought her Charlie B was our Charlie Balsam. I still can't figure out why Roxy is so against you looking into your family background. She's hiding something, for sure. And I might know what it is before our coffee gets cold. I saw this movie once where this woman had a little something mental wrong with her and she's in a loony bin and she stays there long enough and finally she ends up in a padded room. Padded room. Well, St. Anne's isn't like that and I'm not going to leave her there long enough. I just need her to realize that she can't keep doing risky stuff. See, that's the thing about St. Anne's. It's easy to get someone in there. It's a lot harder to get them out of there. No, nah, Jessica's fine. The doctors will realize that. Okay, well, when you get her out of there, tell her I'll give her a manicure. Tell her it's on me. I will. Okay, one second. What can I do for you? What the hell do you want? I just got out of the hospital, and I wanted to come by and thank you for everything that you did for me. Well, I could have done a lot more, if you let me. Sorry. Yeah, you can't help yourself. You're just not into me. What I don't get is, is why you're into me. Todd! Did you think it was Margaret? Don't even... Joke about that, please. Your vision's not mine. Is Sam all right? Yeah, he finally calmed down. I think you did scare him, though. I probably did. Sorry, didn't mean to. No, I think maybe all this seeing Margaret is really maybe my worries about Sam. I don't know. That makes the most sense to me. You understand? Sure. Are you that your kid? But I do care about him, even though that he's not mine. I wish he was yours. I do. 
Margot's just not part of the equation anymore. Do you hear it right now? Just a second? No. Okay. Then you won't anymore. You know, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe this isn't about Margaret and me. Maybe it's about you and me.